Hey guys, what's going on? IAQ Josh here. We are on site at a high rise property, a condominium in the Fort Lauderdale area. I've got my colleague Raphael behind me. Today we are going to be setting up a pressure fit containment. Now, this is our first formal pressure fit containment, so try not to judge too hard. Nonetheless, let's have some fun. All right, guys, so we've got our very first wall up. This is the first of about one, two, three, four. However, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what we got going on. So we've got our sill plate foam right here. That's gonna create that compression effect between the top two by four that runs across and this popcorn texture on top of this uh, concrete ceiling. So what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna add more secondary damages than the damages that are already existing. So we use this foam to actually create a little bit of a compression, which then allows us also to get these compression fit two by fours. So as you see, we've got a total of three two by fours. We've got a single header spanning the top and we've got a double footer spanning the bottom and the reason for this is our eight foot two by fours are just slightly too small so all we did is took two two by fours fastened them together just with an ordinary screw and that created our footer all right guys so we spent the better part of today getting up this pressure fit containment barrier if you don't like it tough we're not making another one but i want to take you guys on a quick tour tell me what you think all right guys so we've got this is going to be the entry point of our containment barrier. This is going to be our sticky mat. We've got two deluxe reusip, reusable zippers. As you guys can see, we've got some good negative pressure pulling in on this barrier. And needless to say, with wood framing, it is hella strong. We've got two 600 CFM scrubbers running in series. Uh, the output of one is running into the other. So that way any uh, contaminants that bypass the HEPA filter has a greater chance of being caught by the second machine. This is the other side of our containment barrier. But now, let's go on the inside. All right guys, so we are going to open her up. Double zipper entry, because that's how we roll. Coming in, inside we're going to have area one of our three-part containment barrier we've got nothing too fancy here nor very pretty if i say so myself we've got a flap entry door which is going to take us into the air conditioning closet where the hvac servicemen can go ahead and disconnect that unit and then we've got yet another deluxe product our reuse zip magnetic zipper this we're just gonna actually push our way through. And there we've got our intake to the machinery. All right guys, so I hope you liked our very first full on pressure fit containment barrier. As you can see, it came out pretty darn good. I will say we did cheat. We did use some screws to fasten some wood together. We also had to use a couple of shims for a couple of short pieces. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys that, but you'll have to take my word for it. All right, so as a whole, I'm gonna say we're impressed with the work that we did today. Definitely not perfect. I expect to see some constructive criticism within the comments section below. As always, if you guys did like this video, may not have loved the containment, but you love me, go ahead and hit that great big thumbs up button, please. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until the next time.